This video is sponsored by TomPlay. If a song is in 9-8 time, it means it has 9 eighth notes in each bar of the music. But the really interesting thing about 9-8 time is that it can have two very different feels depending on how we group these 9 eighth notes. Often, these 9 beats will be arranged into three groups of three like this, resulting in quite a regular swing waltz sort of sound. But then other songs will instead treat 9-8 like a odd time signature by grouping the 9 beats into various uneven groups. So let's start by looking at some of the songs that treat 9-8 like this, like an odd meter. And then later we'll look at the more traditional way to use 9-8. I Hung My Head by Sting is in 9-8 time. Sting groups the nine beats of the bar into one group of five and one group of four, giving the meter an off-balance, odd meter feel. Early one morning, with time to kill, I borrowed Jim's rifle and sat on the hill. The Crunge by Led Zeppelin has a really interesting 9-8 meter. It groups the nine beats like this into four quarter notes and one eighth note, so it feels effectively like we're in 4-4 time, however at the end of each bar we get one extra little eighth note stuck on, giving the music a really janky, chaotic pulse. A similar use of 9-8 time is Gaia by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Now, no conversation about 9-8 time would be complete without mentioning the king of odd time signatures, Dave Brubeck. Blue Rondo a la Turk by the Dave Brubeck Quartet is a fantastic example of 9-8 time. Brubeck switches routinely between grouping the nine beats of the bar like this in three groups of two and one group of three, and then to a more regular set of three groups of three. Brubeck was inspired to write Blue Rondo a la Turk after hearing some street musicians in Turkey performing this 2-2-2-3 grouping of 9-8 time. Fascinated by the unusual 9-8 rhythm, allegedly Brubeck asked the musicians what they were playing and they responded by saying, this rhythm is to us what the blues is to you. Treating 9-8 as an odd time signature is not a typical thing to do in the West. In Western music, when a 9-8 meter is used, whether it's in a classical piece, or an American soul track. You're no good, heartbreaker. The nine beats will be grouped into these three regular sets of three, giving it a waltz sort of sound. However, in countries like Turkey, Greece, and the wider Balkan area, rhythms like this are commonplace. In Turkey, this 2 2 2 3 9 8 rhythm is associated with the traditional Zaybak dance. <laughs> And the Greeks use a similar 9-8 meter in their Zbekiko dance. Although in the West grouping a 9-8 meter like this is considered to be odd, it's only an odd, unnatural sound to us because we're not regularly exposed to it. Most Western music, traditional and modern, stick to time signatures with a regular isochronal grouping of the beats. 
In other words, all of the beats in the bar are uniform. They all have the same duration. So when we hear something that deviates from this, that doesn't have a regular isochronal pulse, we feel rhythmically out of our comfort zone. But this doesn't make these so-called odd time signatures inherently weird or confusing. Much like how a foreign language sounds confusing until you learn how to speak it, once you start listening to music in odd time signatures and playing music in that time signature, it starts to feel less, well, odd. And this is exactly what Dave Brubeck did. After his exposure to these odd rhythms during his tour of Turkey and the Balkans, he and his quartet wrote the iconic Time Out, an album where each track explores a different unusual or odd meter. And opening this iconic album is Blue Rondo a la Turk. This track directly contrasts the Western and Balkan way to play a 9-8 meter by switching regularly between the Turkish 2-2-2-3 rhythm and the Western 3-3-3 rhythm. Tomplay is an app that gives you access to over 40,000 pieces of sheet music. However, Tomplay is far more than just the sheet music library. The Tomplay app can also create a custom backing track for you to play along with, which means, for example, if you wanted to learn the piano part for Bohemian Rhapsody, you could actually have Tomplay sing along as you play to give you a better sense of where you are in the piece. Their library features a wide range of music, including classic pop and rock hits, classical music, film music, and jazz standards. You can try Tom Play out for free for two weeks. Use the links down below to find out more. So we've looked at a lot of examples of 9-8 time treated as an odd meter. But now let's look at some examples of this regular three groups of three approach, the more Western and traditional way to use 9-8. When 9-8 is used like this, it's called a compound time signature. A compound time signature is when the main pulse is perceived to be the dotted quarter note, meaning that we have three eighth notes per beat. You can think of this as 9-8 being the equivalent of 3-4 time, but with a triplet on each beat, hence why 9-8 time has a similar waltz sound to 3-4 time. 6-8 and 12-8 are also examples of a compound meter. This is in contrast to time signatures like 4-4 and 3-4, where the main pulse is perceived as the regular quarter note, not the dotted quarter note, and therefore we only have two eighth notes per beat. Simple meters like 4-4 have a very straight sound, but compound meters have a swinging shuffling sound, thanks to these three eighth notes per beat. And we can hear this in songs that use 9-8 as a compound meter. The Tourist by Radiohead is in 9-8 time, giving it that swinging waltzing sound. <laughs> Fall For You by The Impressions uses a 9-8 meter. Jambi by Tool sort of mixes the compound and odd approaches to 9-8 time. The kick drum is keeping down the regular set of three dotted quarter notes per bar, keeping the isochronal beat going but the vocal and guitar line over the top are not sticking to the regular grouping of eighth notes and are instead winding their own unusual rhythms over the top. Irish slip jig music is in a fast compound 9-8 meter, giving it this energetic swinging sound. Debussy's famous Claire de Lune is also written in compound 9-8 time. However, in this piece, much like many romantic piano works, we don't have a strict fixed tempo, meaning that the 9-8 meter doesn't have that strong waltzing sound, it has a looser sense of timing. This expressive use of tempo is known as rubato.
sometimes, rather than a song being entirely written in a 9-8 meter, we will just see one bar of 9-8 thrown in amongst another meter. For example, the guitar intro of Nothing Else Matters by Metallica is largely in 6-8 time, however throws in one bar of 9-8 here. Because 6-8 and 9-8 are so similar, this switch between them effectively sounds like we're adding an extra half bar of 6-8 into the music. In other words, rather than a bar of 9-8 being here, we could perceive this as just another bar of 6-8 and a one-off bar of 3-8. Another song that combines both 9-8 and 6-8 is Anyone Who Had a Heart, written by Burt Bacharach. Burt Bacharach is famous for playing with meter in his songs. Here, the song is largely in 6-8 time, However, each line begins with a bar of 9-8 instead, making that bar feel like it's been stretched out. Perhaps the wildest use of 9-8 time I've ever heard is the aptly named Apocalypse in 9-8 by Genesis. This so-called Apocalypse in 9-8 is actually a smaller section of Genesis's 23-minute long epic, Supper's Ready. The Apocalypse begins with the drums and bass establishing the 9-8 groove, grouping the 9 beats into a set of 3, 2 and 4 like this. Once established, keyboardist Tony Banks then enters with a solo that doesn't actually abide by this 9-8 time, instead effectively playing in 4-4 over the 9-8 pulse. This leads to a very metrically confusing sound where all sense of time signature is becoming blurred. Where one bar ends and the next begins is sort of dependent on which instrument your ear is latching onto. I'll leave you today with this piece I've written in 9-8 time.